Hi folks, hi, back to oils. <coughs> I did a couple of watercolours for you uh, for Patreon yesterday. Now we've got cadmium red, uh, ultramarine, burnt sienna, Payne's grey, and uh, cadmium yellow and yellow ochre <coughs> for this one. Uh, right, not a lot in my head, uh, but I want to find my pen. Come on, we've we done with my pen. My nice man. Oh, there it is. Okay. Board two millimeter MDF, rubbed down with very coarse uh, belt sanding paper, the yellow stuff. Because uh, the MDF is very hard, and very stiff, very good. If it's very cheap, <laughs> extremely durable, provided it doesn't get wet. But then anything's going to be not durable with if it gets wet or damp. Uh, I fry them with a one coat of uh, some good PVA glue and dried with a hairdryer. Right, there's my pen. So I, I just thought let's uh, put a bit of a bit of a lighthouse. I will have Of a lighthouse here. Um, something like that. Bit of an island off the coast. I was watching uh, uh, Robson Green he was in a program, British, British TV, and he was uh, he spent uh, a night on a on an island with a, a lovely couple who were looking after the island. But yeah, they lived in the lighthouse, and um, which is automa automatic now. So I'm going to uh, use uh, the knife. So we'll get a C, C colour, well, what do you reckon, uh, yellow ochre and ultramarine blue and a bit of white is quite a good C colour, viridian and ultramarine, a bit of white, a good colour, going uphill there. Right, okay, so let's, I, I need some more white now because I don't want a complicated sky, I want to save my detail for the foreground. Right, I've got the burnt umber because I I might put a bit of that colour in here, but probably not. We'll see, we'll see how we go. Okay, so white, load of white, bit of ultramarine, good mix. The second knife, uh, no, second brush painting I did for the uh, flower paintings. Uh, they were tulips. I put them down as irises, but they weren't. I didn't pick them down my, from my son's garden. I won't go right to the edge. I'll put a bit of a red colour or a, a sienna colour on the horizon, I think. It's quite an 
expensive art, it's a knife painting, you use a lot of paint, but you do get some nice lovely effects. Tissues. The knife will probably pick up this, some of these bits that are on the palette, and some of them are a bit of cling film. When you do this, if you're a beginner, you will pay you to mix up your t colours first. So I, I can I can repeat more or less the, the colour that I've already put on and run out of. I want to put a bit of shadow cloud in there, a little light cloud. So this stage where the painting starts to look huge. Oh, let's put a bit of a bit of cloud in there. A bit of ultramarine and a bit of that cad red. Just give a bit of variety in the sky. I will put some lighter clouds in. Touch of the oak, oak now. Raise this camera a little bit, about half an inch, because it's hitting my my head. I'll paint the uh, 
the lighthouse in a minute with a brush because I can't do it with a knife, it's too, too tricky. And I've got there's quite a bit of work on the sky, I'm just doing this sort of blending at the moment. You don't have to blend, you can leave it all nice and lumpy. Now, I'm not a studier of lighthouses. I'm not working from any reference material. I'm just relying on my experience just to... to get this in. White houses are usually painted white, but I think I've got a bit, probably a bit uh, too light around it, so there won't be much of a counter change if I do it in white. But uh, some of the light coming from that side, let's see what it looks like. Got the white. Not going to work, is it? So we'll uh, modify that. Uh, I like the idea of of a, of a of a white one. So let's go back to this grey. Okay, so we could need to get some counter change going. So. Put a bit of cloud around it. That's a bit better. Do need a lot of uh, a lot of paper. Just vary some of that. Now the light's coming from that side. I'm going to put a top on that and now a bit of where the light is so we'll make that dark I think and we'll have a slightly bit of, bit of colour. Touch of, let's have a touch of Payne's grey in there. A bit of ochre.
Do more, more of that, sir. Uh, Okay, that's a bit, bit better, a bit touch of the ochre. It's quite tricky this. I think you'll agree. Right now let's put a bit of a uh, bit of darker colour on there, a bit of red and blue. I'll get a little bit uh, short of uh, cadmium red. I I'm uh, running out. Well, I've run out. Mm-hmm. Paint's grey, mate. A bit better there. Now that that's only showing because I put that little bit of. Uh, light on there. Well I'll let that go for a moment that is, and finish the sky. Now a bit of burnt sienna. It's a lovely mix-up. I would say that, uh, depending on the manufacturer, that uh, burnt sienna is just about my favourite colour. But it does vary between manufacturers. Manufacturers. Put a sky in later. I'll start the rocks. Well, no one. I'll start the. I'll start it. Start the uh, sea. Now so we're going uphill there a little bit. So we'll just bring that down a bit. You could draw it out if you like, but I prefer to uh, make it up as we go along. Uh, light I would suggest in in here. A 
feel you won't really like um, acrylic. My friend uh, Palomi Goswami has just done a lovely abstract landscape over an old painting, so it had a nice little texture on it. Uh, on YouTube. Okay, we'll let that go. Let's uh, do some cliffy stuff now. Changed my life to one of my little favourites. Where are your favourite? There it is. You can see the tip is slightly bent as a reflection. This is a Windsor & Newsome knife, a very good quality. Most of mine are. They are really, really good quality. I've had, the, I've had these for 30 years, 40 years, years and years. One or two have broken, but then I've used them as a gouger. Right, so, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, well, I'll put a bit of C in there, but I'll, I'll just have to bring bring some of that down a little bit, just change the shape. Just bring that sky, just rough it up a little bit. I'll just try, I'll try, see if I can get a nice sea colour. So have a bit of ochre. So this is uh, yellow ochre and ultramarine and white. Well, that's about level, isn't it? Right, we can modify that now. So we've got a sort of a start in there. Put some lights back in there. Right, now we're going to put in a bit of green. I'm going to put in some of that uh, blue and uh, ochre and white. Right, well, there we go. That's all right then. Need some dark in that uh, contrast there. Uh, I need to 
get some of that. Just change the shape of that a little bit there. I'll put a house on there. Let's put let's finish this lighthousey bit. Right, um, let's put a, a red bit of a red roof on there. No, red roof roof, roof no be slate, wouldn't it? Right, now we'll uh, get the, the shape of that. Uh, we'll probably come down with that sky a little bit. Now we put in some of this uh, sienna, ochre. Put a grey in there, put a dark grey. Okay. Okay, now there's a bit more here. Uh, 
Right now we will go into the uh, lighter colours in here. Good account to change through there. Bit of light. Now let's get a bit of a bluey uh, colour in there. Well, not as blue as that. Just a bit of shadowy green there. So plenty of colour in there, it's got a bit of ochre in there as well because we're coming into the uh, coast, into the mainland I think. Now we're doing 33 minutes, so we're okay. Just very, just these sort of waves. I like, I like a bit of green. Yeah, the second uh, knife painting that I did, which I called irises, then I called it, uh, what did I call it, uh, lilies. And we we'll now find out that they're, <coughs> they are tulip, early tulips, that are sort of blowing a bit. Don't worry about getting all these colours in, it all helps, just a bit of blending, a bit of, bit of moving, I'll do some white and lighter stuff. Let's have a, uh, I squeezed out some burnt umber but I'm not sure I'm going to use it. I don't want this too busy. I'm 
one, a little bit of a Look, they're so quiet. It's a, bit better. it's a little bit of a... Okay, now we'll do some uh, some work on this. Uh, on these slopes here. Bit of paint's going there. Plenty of yellow in, in this as well. Just mixing palette greys. It's quite a bit of a uh, to put in here. So don't overwork it. Look, what we're doing is creating an illusion of something going on there. I do like Paints Grey and Cage Yellow. It's a great grassy bit of shadow maybe. Bit of light in there catching the
I might bring this water down a bit further. Um, got some white, some blue, some yellow. Right now, some ochre and white. I have, I've, I've right out of ochre as well. It's getting quite difficult to get stuff at the moment. Oh, it's a lump there. Okay, now we'll finish off. I'll put some more green out, some yellow out. So say I've got a big tube of yellow. I've got everything but the two I want is yellow ochre and uh, cadmium red. So I can be a bit extravagant with the uh, cad yellow now. That's the way to buy it. 200 mil tube. If you're interested in this sort of painting, or you don't want to splash out for expensive artist quality, which obviously would be quality. But um, these are these are great paints, and they do vary in price a lot between nine and twelve, thirteen pounds a tube. And I bought about well, I've got, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. By the time the other two come, it'll be nine, ten, ten. So that's how much I've had to spend on this. So if you feel sorry for me, go on Patreon and donate through Patreon. You don't have to stay on it, but it all, all helps. Um, I, I want to get a little bit of dark on that side, uh, but I'm not sure how to do it yet. I, I want to put some some windows or stuff in there, and maybe some windows at the side. Uh, right. some pride in here. I'm sort of thinking of Land's End here, although this is nothing like Land's End. We had a holiday there. Well we've been had many holidays in Cornwall. Um, uh, we were in Salmon Cove in a, a rented lovely rented cottage with some dear friends. Uh, let's get some rough stuff in there. Bit of a persiana.
some varying all the colours here just to give that impression of a lot going on That's a bit of green. So some darker notes. Just some rocks poking through. Then I'll fiddle around with uh, that lighthouse. Bit of a path down there. I've got a frame for this. brush here, well, a long brush, a beautiful uh, wow. right, so just a bit of dark blue grey Okay, well I don't think I can do much more than that. Uh, we've got a bit of water showing here. Okay, well that, that'll, that'll do. I'll put it in the frame. I will have a look at it, so bear with me folks. Pull that out. Shut up dog. Some nails banged in behind the board to keep the uh, the wet paint off of the back of the frame. Oh, there we are. So not too bad, is it? Nice demo. Okay, I'll just take it up a little bit more. Come back a bit more. Oops. Oh dear. to there. Okay well there we are sort of a, a Cornish Cornish seascape. 
Uh, none of it exists in reality. It's just out of my head as I, I went along. I hope you like it. I've got to go and rub down a step on my patio or outside the, front, the uh, sliding doors. It hasn't been done for years. I've got to <coughs> sand it off and just put Danish oil in it. So that's my chore for the day. Right, I hope you like that one, folks, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.